everybody, it's Pastor Amy. I'm excited to do another video for you. It's been fun getting to meet some of you at church, but I'm also super happy to do these videos with you. Um, so let's just start in some prayer. Jesus, we welcome you into our homes and our hearts. We pray that your message will speak to us and that we will have a better understanding of you and your desires for our lives and the timing of your plans for us. Jesus, we thank you and we love you and we welcome you into our hearts. Amen. So today we are going to talk about how we get to rely on God. So we get to trust God. Um, no matter what's going on in our life, we get to know that God is trustworthy and that we can depend on him. So we're going to talk about David becoming the king of Israel. So when David was a teenager, Saul was the king of Israel. But God promised David that he was going to be king someday. Um, but Saul knew that God told David that, and so it made Saul super angry. And so Saul wanted to kill David, to get rid of the threat of him taking over as king. But instead of David rebelling, um, he decided to just go along with honoring the king and waiting for God's timing. So he trusted that God had a plan for him and he believed what God said would happen, but he knew that it wasn't time for that yet. So God promised him he'd be king of Israel when he was a teenager, and he didn't see that come true until he was 37. But he trusted God and he knew that God's timing was gonna be perfect. And so God, um, rewarded David's patience with prosperity. So he had lots of money and children and livestock and he had a strong army. They were able to fight against their enemies. They were able to get more land. And so God rewarded David's patience and his obedience. And in Psalm 37, David wrote about how we can trust God despite our circumstances. So when when we're trying to trust God, but we have enemies chasing us or bad things that keep happening or frustrating situations that keep um, coming our way, we can know that we can still trust God in those times because we can trust God all the time. So relying on someone means that we can trust them. And so sometimes in our lives we trust people or we trust things and they fail us, but God doesn't fail us. So despite what's going on, it doesn't matter. We can always trust God and he's never going to let us down because his promises are consistent. They stay the same. So I want you guys to think about a few questions this week. You can talk about them with your family. So I want you to think about what experience has God used in the past to teach you something? And the other question is what is God using right now to teach you something? So my challenge for you this week is to thank God each night for how he has taken care of you and your family and thank God for being trustworthy and allowing you to rely on him and trust him despite whatever else is going on. And just think about the times where he's used things to teach you uh, use situations to teach you things and what he's using right now to teach you. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you for being trustworthy. Thank you for never letting us down and for um, being someone that we can always rely on. God, we thank you for your love and your outpouring of grace over us. We pray that this next week we will... Um, recognize where you've been in each part of our story and that we will lean into the goodness that you have for us and trust that even though we don't know when your promises are going to come true that we know that your timing when you decide that your promises are going to happen that we will just trust you and wait for your plans Jesus, we love you and we thank you for the privilege it is to know you and to be loved by you. In your name we pray. Amen. Bye, guys.